they reached the territory of the Gerasenes on the other side of the lake. And when he disembarked, a man with an unclean spirit at once came out from the tombs towards him. The man lived in the tombs and no one could secure him any more, even with a chain. Because he had often been secured with fetters and chains but had snapped the chains and broken the fetters, and no one had the strength to control him. All night and all day, among the tombs and in the mountains, he would howl and gash himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and fell at his feet. And shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In God's name do not torture me. For Jesus had been saying to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked, What is your name? He answered, My name is Legion, for there are many of us. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the district. Now on the mountainside there was a great herd of pigs feeding. And the unclean spirits begged him, Send us to the pigs, let us go into them. So he gave them leave. With that, the unclean spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about two thousand pigs charged down the cliff into the lake, and there they were drowned. The men looking after them ran off and told their story in the city and in the country round about, and the people came to see what had really happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, the man who had had the legion in him, properly dressed and in his full senses, and they were afraid. And those who had witnessed it reported what had happened to the demoniac and what had become of the pigs. Then they began to implore Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed begged to be allowed to stay with him. Jesus would not let him but said to him, Go home to your people and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. So the man went off and proceeded to proclaim in the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed.